Okay, so first topic or first point is opening in touch uh, the application manager. First thing, we need to create application. We can create an application, a blank application, or we can create an application using one of the templates that we have available. And this is what we are doing now. We are using one of these predefined templates. So all the navigations and so on are already implemented. So we can create application faster. OK, so this is what I selected in that case. Of course, any color, shapes, navigation, so on, of this predefined template uh, are open to be modified by, by you. OK, then I will enable the historization to historian. So I'm going to historical login, historian login. I check in this checkbox. I write what the, where is my historian located. Also, I check the local arms and events, and that's all. Super fast, super easy. Now I'm creating the connection to my simulator, but the same steps are the ones that I need to follow if I want to connect to a real PLC or so on. The communication with a OPC or OPC UA, it's already done. You don't need to create anything. OK, now I will create a new user-defined type. In that case, it's a meter. And now I'm creating a, a member for this user-defined. In that case, the process value. And I'm changing the type of this uh, member. In that case, it's uh, an IO real. And also, I'm modifying the minimum row and the maximum row. Now I will create a new user-defined template. In that case, it's a valve. Okay. And I will add three new members one for the open state, another one for the closed state, and another one for the common. Okay. Also, I will modify the type instead of memory integer to EO discrete. And for the closed and open state, I will change also the status of read and write to read only, because it's just the information, something that we are reading, and we don't want to, to change this value. OK. The next step, I will create a derived user uh, data type. So using the template of meter, I will create a level meter, and I will create a temperature meter. So now I will change the, the engineering units for this uh, level meter, and also I'm modifying the minimum and maximum engineering units. I will do the same with the temperature meter. So this is the temperature meter. I will change the engineering units, and also I will change the minimum and maximum engineering units. Okay, so. All the values or the values that I'm changing always are in, in bold. Okay. And now I will create a tank. This is another a new user defined type. And I will add five different members. One inlet, two inlet valve, one outlet valve, and then one meter for temperature and another meter for level. The good thing here is what uh, also we will change the type. And in that case, we will use the previous UDT types that we created previously. So for the inlet, outlet, inlet one, outlet, inlet two, and outlet, we will change, uh, we will use the bail. And for temperature, we will use the temperature um, user defined type and the same for the level. OK, so with that, kind of we can create complex structures in a very easy way just quite similar that what we can do in uh, in system platform once we have this structure created it's time to create the instances so right click new instance and if we want to modify the parameters of the instance we should go to the model tag name uh, tab that it's uh, here so from here 
I can go to any of these components, I can go to any of these members, and then I can modify whatever I need. In that case, I'm configuring or I'm binding this attribute or this member to a real a, a value coming from the field. In that case, it's coming from a simulator. Okay, so now we have the model, everything configured, and it's time to create the, the visualization part, the front end part. So I'm opening the window one, and I will go to the model and tag name tab. I will select the level uh, member of the tank one, drag and drop, and now I will select what are the graphics that they want to use. Automatically, the graphic appears, and the graphic is automatically uh, configured to, to the attributes and so on of this UDT. Okay. Now I will show you how I can create a custom graphic. I will create a graphic from a SBC file. So this is why I'm, the name of this graphic is a meter from SBC. First thing is I need to import this file and the system will proceed and uh, convert this graphic into a, an industrial graphic. So right now, I can modify any of the different elements. So all of these elements are individual elements. So I can change the color. I can change the relative origin. I can add animation. If I want, I can delete some of the parts. I can add new parts. I can do whatever I need. So right now, I will configure the animation of, of orientation of this coach. So depending on the value that I'm reading from the field, I will change the orientation of this, uh, of this element. And this is what we are doing here. Also in this example, you can see how to access to all the different parameters and attributes of, the, of a UDT. And as you can see, it's following the same way or doing things as system platform, okay? Now we will add this graphic instead of window one, we will add it in window two. And now the application is done. So now it's time to test the application in runtime. So first thing we need to open the, the, the basic uh, graphics, just to have the, the navigation, top bar, and, and so on. And let's see how it works. Okay, if I click window one, I'm loading the window, and I can see, uh, I can see the, the graphics, and all the animations that I previously configured, okay? So now it's time to run the same application using InTouch Web. The first thing that I need to do is close everything. I need to open again InTouch Application Manager. And I will go to the last tab that is a Web Widget, I'm sorry, Web Client. I will select from this list what are the application that they want. I will say, okay, this is the one that I want to, to execute in the web server. And now I can run the application in this uh, web server. So I will launch the application. The web browser, it will appear. Now it's loading the application. Okay, so we have now the application and now I will run also in touch window viewer just to compare that we have the same experience in both uh, in both applications. Okay, so this is window viewer, so we have some values here. Then if I click window one, we have also the same value here, and we can see that the value is uh, changing uh, a little bit, okay? Also, if I click window two, I can see how this is changing. 